Hello and welcome to Ask the Expert. This time we are going to talk about holes in speaker drivers. We are lucky enough to have several fan groups on various social media on the internet. And uh, recently we had a question in one of them, uh, which revolved around why are there holes in Danaudio's speaker drivers? If we take a look at one of our cones, you will notice we have these square holes around the center dome of uh, the driver itself. So the question is, why are they there? What are they doing? What's the purpose of these holes? To answer that question, I thought I would show you how we actually manufacture uh, these speaker cones and uh, then explain why they're there. So what I have here is a piece of the material MSP, uh, which is what all Danaudio woofers are made from. Uh, MSP means magnesium silicate polymer. So this is a blend of these different uh, materials that creates a material with some very specific uh, um, properties that we would like to have in our speaker cones, uh, the optimum uh, combination of uh, damping and stiffness and lightness. To make the speaker diaphragms, we have a mold like this, which is shaped like the piece of uh, cone that we would like to create. And then what we do is we take the MSP and heat it up and then vacuum form it over this mold to create the actual shape of the speaker cone. So once the material has been vacuum formed onto the mold, you get a sheet like this, where you can see the actual shape of each speaker cone. This is the front of the cone. And then on the back, as you can see, you have these dents. It also means that what you can see as holes in the cone is actually not holes, it's just the inside of these dents on the back of the cone. The next step is we cut out the cone itself and glue on the surround. And then we have this piece of cone with uh, the surround where we have a front and a back where you can see the dents here. So then the question becomes, why did we have those dents in the first place? Well, there are actually three different reasons for this. The first reason is, due to the dents, when you put on the voice coil, the voice coil is automatically centered uh, onto the diaphragm. So now we have a perfect centering of the coil, which would not be the, the case if it was just a round dome where you could put on the voice coil in different positions. Here you only have one perfect position, which is dead center. The second reason is, these dents actually create a coupling between the voice coil and the middle part of the dome uh, so that this coupling becomes stiffer. That helps the high frequency response of the woofer because actually the high frequencies are mostly coming from the center dome uh, and not from the rest of, of the cone itself. That's how the acoustics work. So having a proper coupling between the coil and the center dome improves the high frequency response of the driver. The third reason is when we are gluing the voice coil to the diaphragm, we get a bigger uh, gluing surface. So we have a much larger uh, surface between the cone itself and the voice coil former. Uh, so that gives a better power handling, uh, it gives a, a better connection between the voice coil and the diaphragm. So once we have glued on the voice coil to the diaphragm and mounted the spider, uh, we have a complete moving system. So this moving system needs to be centered perfectly in the woofer basket. And to do that, we actually do have some holes in uh, the diaphragms. Uh, we make three small uh, pinholes, and when we are centering uh, the system inside the basket, we put in the, the moving system into the basket, and then three small pieces of piano wire. And then once the glue is dry, we pull out the piano wire, and then we close these three holes uh, with a tiny piece of glue. So once we have done that, this is again sealed and completely airtight. So all these small details basically sum up to what becomes a Dan Audio driver, where every detail is optimized towards the best sound quality. Uh, that makes it fairly complicated to manufacture because there's a lot of individual processes, but the end result is better sound quality for you. So I hope that answers the question about uh, holes in our diaphragms. And uh, in any case, if you have more questions like this, uh, you can of course share them on social media, but the best thing you can do is send them to us and we will try to put them into future Ask the Expert videos. Mm -hmm.